Chapter 6, Theological Implications and Scriptural Interconnections, Passover and the Blood of the Messiah. 6.1 Introduction The interplay between Passover and the sacrificial blood of the Messiah represents a rich tapestry of theological and symbolic meaning within the biblical narrative. This chapter explores the profound connections between the Passover ritual, the Messiah's sacrifice, and their implications for understanding redemption and purification. By examining key scriptural references from both the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, this chapter aims to elucidate how Passover serves as a precursor to the ultimate redemption achieved through the Messiah's sacrifice. 6.2 The Significance of Passover in the Exodus Narrative Passover, or Pesach, commemorates the pivotal event of the Israelites' liberation from Egyptian bondage. According to Exodus 12 verse 7, the Israelites were instructed to sacrifice a lamb and apply its blood to their doorposts. This act was not merely a ritual but a critical sign of divine protection, then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the doorframes of the houses where they eat the lambs. Exodus 12 verse 13 further emphasizes the protective power of this blood, the blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood of the lamb was thus a symbol of deliverance from the plague that struck Egypt, marking a new beginning for the Israelites. 6.3 Reinterpretation of Passover in the Last Supper the Last Supper, as recorded in the Synoptic Gospels, represents a significant reinterpretation of Passover. During this meal, the Messiah connects his impending sacrifice to the Passover tradition. In Matthew 26 verse 28, the Messiah declares, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Similarly, Mark 14 verse 24 states, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. In Luke 22 verse 20, he says, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. These declarations signify a transformative shift from the old sacrificial system to a new form of redemption, with the Messiah's blood establishing a new covenant and offering forgiveness of sins. Six point for the symbolism of purification in Revelation. The book of Revelation extends the sacrificial imagery of Passover into the realm of ultimate spiritual renewal. Revelation 7 verse 14 describes the redeemed as having washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. This imagery parallels the themes of purification and redemption found in Passover. The blood of the Lamb signifies the ultimate means of spiritual cleansing and fulfillment of the sacrificial themes introduced during Passover. The depiction of the redeemed as purified through the Messiah's blood underscores the continuity between Passover's redemptive symbolism and the eschatological fulfillment described in Revelation. 6.5 The Septuagint's Passover reference in Jeremiah 31 verse 8 Jeremiah 31 verse 8 in the Septuagint, LXX, provides an additional layer of meaning by explicitly mentioning Passover in connection with the restoration of Israel. Behold, I bring them from the north, and will gather them from the end of the earth to the feast of the Passover, and shall beget a great multitude, and they shall return hither. This reference to Passover suggests that the gathering of the Israelites will occur during this significant festival, aligning the promise of restoration with themes of deliverance and renewal associated with Passover. In contrast, the Masoretic text and the King James Version omit this reference, focusing instead on the general promise of gathering without specifying the festival's timing. 6.6 Insights from 2nd Esdras 2nd Esdras, an apocalyptic text, offers further insights into themes of restoration and renewal. In 2 Esdras 2 37-39, the text speaks of those who have departed from the shadow of the world and received glorious garments of the Lord, symbolizing spiritual renewal. This imagery parallels the Passover's themes of deliverance and new beginnings, emphasizing divine intervention and restoration. The shared focus on significant spiritual moments between Passover and 2nd Esdras highlights the continuity of sacrificial themes and their fulfillment. 6.7 Comparative Analysis and Theological Implications The integration of Passover with New Testament imagery provides a cohesive narrative of redemption. The Passover lamb's sacrificial role as a symbol of deliverance and protection foreshadows the Messiah's ultimate sacrifice. 
the Messiah's blood, described during the Last Supper as establishing a new covenant, Matthew 26 verse 28, Mark 14 verse 24, Luke 22 verse 20, fulfills and transforms these themes, offering a new dimension of spiritual renewal. Revelation 7-14's description of purification through the Lamb's blood further underscores this continuity, illustrating how the Passover's sacrificial imagery finds its ultimate expression in the Messiah's sacrifice. 6.8 Broader Implications for Biblical Prophecy and Eschatology The interplay between Passover and the Messiah's sacrifice enriches the understanding of biblical prophecy and eschatology. Passover's foundational themes of deliverance and renewal are realized in the Messiah's sacrifice, aligning historical promises with future expectations. The reference to Passover in Jeremiah 31 verse 8, coupled with the purification imagery in Revelation and the new covenant established during the Last Supper, reflects a broader eschatological vision of ultimate deliverance and spiritual fulfillment. This cohesive narrative enhances the interpretation of prophetic promises and provides a deeper understanding of the fulfillment of divine promises across the biblical timeline. Conclusion This chapter has explored the intricate connections between Passover and the blood of the Messiah, demonstrating how the themes of deliverance, protection, and purification established during Passover find their ultimate realization in the Messiah's sacrifice. By examining scriptural references from Exodus, the Gospels, Revelation, and the Septuagint, this chapter has highlighted the profound theological implications and the continuity of sacrificial imagery within the biblical narrative. This integrated understanding provides a comprehensive view of redemption and purification, enriching the interpretation of biblical prophecy and eschatological expectations.